I want to take a pause for a moment because uh, you've used a lot of terms that I think could require a little bit of precision because they're difficult and the distinctions among them ought to be clearer, I think, to our audience. You've spoken of Islamist groups. You've spoken of jihadis. You've also spoken of Salafis and Wahhabis. What's the continuum there? How do these groups fit together in what kind of a, of a system? So, I mean, th that's an excellent question. And uh, as you know, I often have to explain this to my students. And there's, they s remain confused even after an entire semester's worth of teaching. But Islamists are Muslims who see in Islam a political ideology. So they wish to uh, bring about a political order that is infused and influenced by uh, Islam. And now the question is, well, what interpretation of Islam? Uh, and, and that's a question that um, is often left unanswered. So when here's um, the slogan, Islam is the answer by right. many of these groups, that right. may be a marker for what kind of a, for, for a group being an right. Islamist group. Right. Islam is the answer, Islam is the solution, is a classic slogan of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. And, um, but you have Shia um, Islamists and you have Sunni Islamists, and you have Islamists who don't claim to belong to either of these sectarian, this great sectarian divide in Islam. Um, now, as far as um, Salafis and Wahhabis, so Salafis are uh, a, ver a small group of Muslims, a minority of Muslims, who adhere to a very particular theology that is literalists. So they, dis they say, you know, we accept uh, God's attributes, the way God is described in the Quran, quite literally, without asking about the modality of God or about, you know, whether he has a face or not, and so on. He's described as having a face. He has a face. We don't go into the details of what the face is like or what it looks, what, what it's about. So you have to believe in that version of the theology to be a Salafi. Salafis also tend to be people who argue for a return to a pure practice and, and belief of the faith. The interpretation of Islam that was dominant amongst the first three generation, three generations of Muslims. Um, so they want to return to an older interpretation. And uh, they want to do this by initiating or reforming the law as well. Wahhabis are a kind of Salafi because they share in the theology. They don't necessarily share in the law, in the legal methodology or interpretation. So you can think of Wahhabis as being a subset of Salafi, of this literalist movement. Um, then jihadis, okay, so jihadis are people, I mean, this is, an, this is a, a term that is given to Muslims who um, wish to engage in armed conflict, armed struggle against, um, in, the, in defense of Islam, against people who are attacking Islam. And jihadis can really belong to any branch of Islam. They can be Shia, they can be Sunni, they can be Salafi, they can be Wahhabi. Uh, but jihadis are people who are engaged in armed struggle. And typically, jihadis are people who are fighting because Muslim land, land that is designated as Muslim, as uh, is attacked by a non-Muslim power or force. Just to clarify a bit further, um, is it true then that uh, one can be an Islamist but not necessarily a Salafi or a Jihadi? These are not identical terms, that one can be one of these things without being another of these things. That's right. I mean, you have Salafis, for instance, who are um, um, non-violent. I mean, they will only engage in violence if, they're, if the ruler of the state tells them that they have to do so. Um, you, you have Salafis um, who are activists who wish to change the political system but through uh, elections and parliamentary sort of style politics. And then you have Salafis who are jihadis who are out in, uh, and want to engage in, in direct action or violent action against uh, either the Muslim state or, or what they call the apostate state or against the United States. 